What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another episode of RGC Fishing. Here in today's video, we are at one of my favorite spots here on Galveston Island. And that is because right in front of me is the Galveston Ship Channel. So the Galveston Ship Channel is super deep. It's got a lot of moving water and it's kind of like a big fish highway. Uh, with the black drum spawn right around the corner, those guys are gonna be running through. I've heard some people catching them. I wanna get in on that action. With the marsh being the way it is, if you've seen the last couple of videos, um, just with the low water levels, it hasn't been a great option. So I'm excited to have busted out the big rods again and I'm ready to catch some fish. So let's go ahead, get everything rigged up and get our lines cast out. So our first order of business, let's go ahead and get the line through my guides here. This is an 11 foot pin carnage, super heavy duty rod. Actually, I say that, but it's really the only rod, like a big fish rod that I've had experience with. So, I mean, it's the heaviest duty that I've ever worked with, but sure there's more stout rods out there. Either way, I really like the rod. It has helped me to bring in mini black drum and bull reds, and that's what we're after today. This spot in particular is like one of my favorites uh, for getting on a hot bite, whether that be for black drum or bull reds, depending on the time of the year. This has just been a go-to. A little harder to access than something like the dike. Uh, I think it's well worth it. It's a lot less crowded. And I don't know, I've just had better bites here than at the dike in my own experience. Now that this is ready, let's go ahead and get our rig tied on. So here is the big rig. And you can find something similar to this pretty much at any tackle shop. Uh, there's even some guys who have like online tackle stores but me personally, we make them at home. It's a lot cheaper that way. It's just a seven knot hook. This is about 300 pound test line. Um, I like to use this to kind of wrap it around my hand and lift up fish. Sometimes when you're fishing on these slippery rocks, it can be kind of sketchy to get down there and like get a grip on a fish or uh, even netting them because they're just so big. So yeah, that's the reason we use 300 pound test. You got these little beads for style points. And this right here is where we're gonna clip on our spider weight. I personally have found the six ounces right here to be the best all around spider weight. You know, heavy enough to sit down in pretty fast currents and light enough to cast out there with ease on the big setup. There are some days where six is just not enough. Sometimes this water especially at this spot can really start moving through. You'll see your rod tip moving as your weight rolls down there. Um, some guys go higher, but I've found that more often than not, six ounces is right in that sweet spot of weight. And lastly, our bait of choice is going to be the humble blue crab. So blue crab is drum candy. It doesn't matter if it's a black drum, if it's a red drum, bull red, they love crab. It's something that they grew up eating, kind of scavenging around for shrimps, crustaceans of all shapes and sizes. So they smell this and they come running. I will say it can be hard to find blue crab right now. So if you do find some, maybe buy a bunch because always in the winter time, the crabs are kind of hiding and they can be hard to catch. So they're in short supply, but we found some today. And that is ready. That is a beautiful rig. And now it is time for the cast. I'm gonna go ahead and aim it that way because we got our water pushing out. So as that weight falls, the water is moving so quick, it is gonna carry my bait with it. So aim over there. Hopefully our line ends up in front of us. It's been a minute since I've casted the big setup. So I hope I still got it. Let's build up some momentum here. That felt so bad. Trash cast, I think. Oh well. It's very hard to tell if you've hit the bottom because even when the weight does get down there, it kind of just keeps rolling until you set it. As you can see, my line's already way over there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. We're gonna have to cast a little farther to our left. I just don't like aiming so far that way because it really does kill your distance. Like if that was straight out, it'd be a lot farther. 
either way this is a pretty steep drop so I know it's gonna get down there and I do believe that was actually the perfect cast it was pretty squared away there straight in line with our rod holder go ahead and reel for tension as soon as we got that line nice and taut loosen that drag so if a fish does come along we can hear that clicker and we know it's about to go down well that's the first 30 minutes are you gonna check yours or no yeah. i didn't see as much as a freaking budge but if my crab is gone i'm just gonna hold my rod something that these black drum like to do a lot of the time is they will take your crab and they come up and they just crush it and kind of suck the juice out of it like an orange i might have something on here oh oh yeah you're right uh shoot that's not good i'm gonna keep reeling because i don't want to get snagged there you go all right that can be a real fiasco guys so for those of you who are unaware these rocks even though it is a pretty steep decline they go out a little bit and if you just stop reeling your weight kind of pendulums in will get snagged on those rocks and you lose your rig and your weight not a good time but it is a good time let's check this out we still got our full crab so at least nothing came along and stole it and we can just cast it send it right back out there so I'm gonna go ahead and do right now just get a mean angle I mean we have to get a really mean angle too I don't even know if that's good enough all right welcome to black drum fishing it's pretty much the way she goes kind of keep doing that if you lost your crab maybe you hold on to your rod and we just wait for a bite so I'm not gonna do any more updates on our bait check unless something takes it or or whatnot and I can show you what that looks like but uh, if you see me the next time we'll either be putting on a new bait or uh, we'll be catching a fish oh you're getting hit there we go y'all first one of the day no that's something on there that, that's how a black drum would do your line I'm pretty sure yeah because you know how they come up and sneak it You want me to get a second angle for you? I'm gonna record them on my phone. You guys wanna see this fish? Go check out my pop's channel. Something's happening here. I was just getting ready to record. That's gotta be a fish, huh? Either that or my line is rolling. Well, anyways, guys, I was getting ready to say we just landed a massive black drum, man. My pop's rod got hit. Had to be mid to upper 40s right there. Within the first hour as well, so I decided let's go ahead, check my line, recast it. Oh, we don't got nothing on there. Possible my weight was rolling. I don't think so know that his line is out of the water I can really send it as far as possible to the left so uh, we can get the perfect cast man I haven't made not one cast that I was like wow that really felt right you know that one felt better I don't know if I would necessarily say it felt right though. man gosh I can't get over how freaking big that black drum he just caught was. Yeah. You want me to fight it? Yeah. Sweet guys. Oh yeah, he's on. It's a big fish. Oh my gosh, 
This is a big one. Yeah. I'm thinking this has to be a red. Man, guys, it's been a minute since we fought a big one like this. Just trying to hit the old. There we go. That's the power stance right there. Let's work this guy up. I don't know what this is. Let's keep torquing them in. Really want to get them over these rocks. So our weight doesn't get caught in there. Come on. I knew it. I was just trying to get them over it. Oh. That's such a big fish. Yeah. <sighs> like, I mean, I cinched the drag down and I could feel like just how much. Oh. <sighs> Y'all don't know how bad that sucks. Waiting out here all day. Um, I mean, that's just the style of fishing. It takes hours, sometimes days before you get your bite. And when you miss it like that, it hurts. We still got this lot, excuse me, this line out. And uh, hopefully the evening bite has turned on. We got here in the morning, very slow in the midday. But normally towards the evening, the bite turns on a little better. Oh well, guys, that really sucks. We were just talking about it. My pop setup that I was just using as you can see he's got that mono filament leader line and that's because this is a little bit better you got to think when they're down on these rocks scraping against the line like that the braid will get snapped super easy on my setup i don't have top shot uh, i like to be able to cast a little bit further and using the light braid uh, it allows you to do that but we're thinking if this gets hit and that just happened what's gonna happen to this one. So I think the strat is gonna be to let them take it, kind of loosen the drag on them a little bit. It'll make the fight longer, but I'm hoping that if they're out there, I can muscle them up before they're in right here at these rocks. I mean, I don't know. That's my theory at least. If it's actually gonna work, well, we'll have to find out. No, there's something. Okay. Please, 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 man. This is like, yes. Okay, let's do this. It's a lot smaller than the last one. It feels like, oh, no way. He let go of it. He let go of it. Well, y'all, that's very unfortunate. We had two opportunities today. That was it. We've been out here for a while. I was really hoping to bring that guy in. I mean, we're getting ready to go right now. Kind of packing things up. I'm going to leave this rod out there. It still has a crab while we're getting everything together. Hopefully, if it gets bit, I mean, that would be crazy. But uh, I think we're going to head back out, finish this video, hopefully catch something on another day. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna try and take it slow and easy with this guy. What the hell? No, he's on. Taking it easy with this one because I don't have any top shot. He's so close already, he's not going out. There we go. Take it out, buddy. Huh. 
Okay. Come on. Gotta be. Slow and steady with this one, guys. I felt the rock. I felt it. When he I definitely feel him hitting the rocks. There he is. There he is. He's up. It's a red. It's a bull red. Look at that, y'all. I was not expecting that. He was not running like a... <laughs> well, he did a couple of runs. Yeah, but I thought that was because I let him. Like, yeah. normally, you would just... Nice. We'll wait for the <sighs> and then... You want to get him, or let me go down there and... Uh, him real quick. You can get him with the grip. Just keep him out of the rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave him right here. Holy crap. That's crazy. Guys, as we were packing up, literally just waiting, hoping, and this guy came and hit it. I can't believe it. Let's get them landed once these swells are gone. And that's a great way to end this video. Oh. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. Holy crap, y'all. There he is. Here, I'm going to go put my rod in the holder. Okay. Try to throw him as far out as you can. Yeah. All right, y'all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give you one solid look at this. I'm all slimy. A beast right here. Look at that. My one fish of the day, guys. Literally a buzzer beater. Show them the sun. Yeah, I know, right? That sun was about to go down, so let's hurry up and give this guy a send off. We're starting to get bit by mosquitoes, so let's pack up. Thank goodness for this fish, man. All right. Let's get ready for the final send off here and get a solid grip on that tail. There you go support them right here on their belly oh gosh the slime all right and then this is a heavy son of a gun oh my gosh that was horrible you can tie something on it really quick oh look at that that sucker he took off well that definitely wasn't my best release ever but as i was going back to tie something on to catch him so we could get a rerun and maybe give him a better chance. I think the camera the dude, caught it. Yeah, 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 you did. He took off. He took off. That's a great way. Oh man, I just got fish slime in my hair. <laughs> great way for me to end this video, man. Thank y'all if you made it this far. It was a long day. I was just sitting around, waiting around for these fish. That's the way she goes. I'm just super happy we were able to get one. It's actually two fish on the day. And that was a bull red, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.